We'll first discuss nystigmine. For the purposes of anesthesia, nystigmine is used as a reversal agent for non-depolarizing neuromuscular blocking drugs, and it's only ever given in combination with glycopyrrolate, for reasons we'll discuss in a moment. Neostigmine is an antagonist of the acetylcholinesterase enzyme at the neuromuscular junction. So at the end of a surgical procedure, if there's any residual neuromuscular block, you can use neostigmine to increase the concentration of acetylcholine that's able to compete with the muscle relaxant for the acetylcholine receptor. However, this happens not only at nicotinic acetylcholine receptors, but also at muscarinic ones. So if you give neostigmine alone, you'll end up with significant muscarinic side effects, such as profound bradycardia. So to counteract this, we give glycopyrrolate as an anti-muscarinic agent. Because of neostigmine's mechanism that we've just discussed, it's only of use in partial neuromuscular blockade. So if the patient does not have at least two twitches on a train of four stimulus, neostigmine will not be sufficient to adequately reverse the block. So for anesthesia, it's presented in one mil ampules that each contain two and a half milligrams of neostigmine with 0.5 milligrams of glycopyrrolate. You can give one to two mils and its peak action is at 10 minutes after IV administration and its effect lasts 20 to 30 minutes. It has both hepatic and renal el elimination with a half-life of 15 to 30 minutes. So in summary, neostigmine must always be administered with glycopyrrolate and can be used to reverse partial non-depolarizing muscular blockade. So at least two twitches present.